getting yearling bison to graze on irrigated pasture in, in a management intensive grazing situation um, was also an experience. Um, the big question I had was is, is density. Um, mid grazing works because of using animal density to essentially uniformly graze or clip forage. Some of it's going to be high quality and some of it's not, but you want it all clipped the same. And uh, we found out that using putting um, long yearling bison bulls, bulls that are 18 months of age on irrigated pasture does work. They can gain very well. We had gains that were two and a half pounds a day. Um, you can expose them to a free choice concentrate while on irrigated pasture and, and they will do. They'll have a very uh, high quality carcass, uh, white fat composition. Um, but, but again, the social aspect uh, um, comes into play. Bison bulls uh, re still require more room uh, in a mid grazing situation than cattle. Uh, the way bison go to water is different than the way cattle go to water. In a mid grazing situation, um, cattle will tend to dribble in and dribble out. You know, there's always something going to the water. Bison, they all want to go to water as a group. And so, it, what would work for a water system for beef cattle would not work for bison. It wasn't big enough, it wasn't enough room. And so, we, we had to uh, change that. We also learned that um, we couldn't push the densities quite as high. If we got our densities up to 40 or 50 animals per acre, Socially, it was acceptable for about a day, but after that, they're going to break out. We could hold them with a one lead electric line once they were trained to it, but if we push the densities that high, um, uh, they would end up breaking out. But we also figured out, uh, my crew did actually, that they don't, density does not have to be as high to get a uniform clip. And the reason is, is because they graze differently than beef cattle. Beef cattle, if you look into a, a paddock of, of irrigated pasture, they pretty much are uniformly spread out over. In other words, they're keeping space. But bison, as they like to all go to water as a group, they also like to graze as a group, and they would almost get up in a line and actually graze around this paddock in a line and really together. So they, they weren't all scattered out. They were actually in one place. In other words, they have some they had some self-induced uh, high density as a group, and and what we realized is it really allows us to back off the animal density per acre because there is a density factor in their social socialization as to how they're going to graze, and so we got very uniform graze with these yearling bison at densities of 20 or 30 uh, yearlings per acre, and it was more acceptable socially to them. The other thing we learned in the management intensive grazing with bison is that uh, the shape of the pen was almost as important to them as the size of the pen. In, in uh, an irrigated pivot, which is where we were doing these uh, grazing um, trials, the inside paddocks were uh, wedge shaped, kind of, you know, they're pretty, pretty much like a triangle. And if we had a problem with animals jumping out of it, it was always on the inside where the outside paddocks were more square or rectangular. And the, and the reason is, again, it's that spacing from animal to animal. And in the, in the triangle-shaped paddocks, um, you can see they were just not as, um, uh, they were not as calm and uh, not as comfortable, in, particularly when they were in the narrow end. And the reason is they're, there is spacing and a need to have some distance between them and, and uh, the other animals. And with fences on both sides, they mm -hmm. just weren't as, weren't as comfortable.